I did I did do a panel at a show uh, several weeks ago where they had um, a table like this and the actors and they had all this food out oh, wow. and it was a cooking contest. Oh, it wasn't actual cooking. It was like just like meats and cheeses. But and you, know, you make a peanut but you made it. You made sandwich. first. You made this and then you made a you made an uh, appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Well, I was actually at NecoCon in Virginia a couple of years ago in 2017 and. They had um, they had a food wars panel that was legit. They had cook students from cooking schools Whoa. like in food wars. They were making dishes and desserts and, and three course meals, and we were judging them as our characters. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. I wish I was there for that because that's that a lot closer. Step it up. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's really good. Oh my God. I wouldn't judge your food. I can't cook it. <laughs> no. To me, it's kind of a trip because I like playing this character because it's very, very unlike me. I really get to stretch because I'm not an intimidating, scary teacher dude, and I can't cook at all. So I can make I can make a mean spaghetti and a good breakfast, and I can you know, maybe some roast some chicken or whatever, make a sandwich. But yeah, yeah, I like to cook. I wish I can I cook. I can't wait. Like it looks like somebody threw up, but it tastes really good. <laughs> and I also burn the crap out of myself on a regular. I can order. <laughs> I will say this though, and I think you all would agree that yeah. anime has this uncanny ability to make food look amazing. Because it doesn't look that good at the restaurant. You're like, you take a picture of it. Hey, I just saw this anime. I'd like to order that. And they're like, yeah, good luck. Okay. But it always, it just, it's like, the animators take that extra special care just to make this look amazing. Especially in this show, yeah. Oh, so, you know, oh, yeah. so someone, someone in, went to Japan and they ordered a thing from Starbucks and they took a picture of the drink and the poster. It looks exactly the same. Really? Of course, Japan. Japan. So you can. <laughs> that would that would actually make me a little afraid because when they take pictures of food. It's stylized. I mean, it's styled by somebody. It's like you see, like mustard and ketchup dripping down. It's not even mustard and ketchup. It's like yeah, glue. Well, this, is, this was a tourist. Dude. Yeah. So I'd be like, is that really coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it's butter. It's like butter yeah, coffee. That joke by Mitch Hedberg is a really good comedian. He was like, he said, you know, you see these billboards for casinos, and every time you see a billboard for a casino, somebody's winning, but that only occasionally happens. It's like. Why don't we, you wouldn't do that for something like water or something, something, something choking. This occasionally happens when you have a burger. You choke. <laughs> food is, yeah, food advertising. <laughs> it's got somebody with diabetes. <laughs> Does anybody have a question for us or anything? Uh, yeah. Right there. So a little bit of a two-parter. Um, have you tried cooking any of the recipes from the show? And what, in general, what would be your favorite recipe? Like, No, I have no. <laughs> it's um, no, it's all so hard. I, I <laughs> what the heck? That was Vaughn's calling you. Did your phone yeah. just fart at us? <laughs> My phone farts. Yes, yeah, so when I get a phone. <laughs> that is special. I made that ring myself. That's just for a food Personal. <laughs> Perfect for a food band. Wow. It's, you know, when it, I was sitting at home and we had a little party and I was sitting out back having a beer and we were cooking some barbecue and stuff. And I didn't realize I could do that in uh, the app or whatever. And uh, I was like, oh, uh, this is funny. And I started making my own ringtone. I was like, oh, great. Okay, y'all. <laughs> what is this shit? Uh, yeah, so my answer is no, I haven't. It all looks so hard, and I'm not, I don't feel like a very skilled cook, but I would try any of it. I would love to try so many of the things on there. Some of it looks a little intense to try, though, honestly, but um, yeah, I if wish. I, if I tried to cook anything on that show, I'd probably burn my apartment down. <laughs> but if I could make two things I would love to try, I would love to try. The, the, the meal that Chappelle tries, the steak with the honey, the honey, uh, oh, rest of the, oh my god, it was amazing. And, and all right, I'm done here. So, 
My daughter is calling me because her car is falling apart on the highway. Oh, no. Oh. Well, what's really sucky is my car. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to make a video greeting for his daughter at the end of this. Um, and I'd like to try the bento box that Ellis Knockery brings in that bento box. Oh, yeah. oh. That looks amazing. I would love to try it. Can't cook anything, though, but I'd love to try it. I want to eat the rice with the jelly cubes on it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I also like really like steak fat. I imagine it would taste like steak fat. Every time we go eat, we're at a con. She, she orders steak. She says, they cut the fat off of it. Don't cut the fat off my steak. I get mad. It's my favorite part. Fat, so. I only want like three bites of steak. I want the fat. <laughs> oh my god. That's... I know. My heart doesn't like it, but I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I would, I don't know. I guess I probably would attempt to cook a lot of fat food. Um, I do try to cook different types of food. The only thing I don't touch is Mexican food because like my husband's family can cook it really well and I'm not even trying. Um, but I, I go to the, like the Via Hola, like the Asian market and I try to cook different things. Right. I make all types of food. Beautiful.